Oh shit. I got a microphone. <laughs> you know that this isn't gonna end well. Me on a microphone can't be good. Alright. What's up everybody? I haven't made a video in such a long time. It's weird. Uh, so some things have changed. I'm sure some of you may have noticed. Uh, you know, I'm no longer saltwater health and fitness. I'm now foundation barbell. Pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. So, uh, you know, a few things that kind of sparked the want for change. Uh, a lot of things actually were kind of, um, I'm sort of revamping everything that I'm doing with the business, basically, uh, my whole system for programming, my whole system for nutrition, my whole system for um, accessory stuff like mobility work, recovery work, and all that kind of stuff is all getting revamped. Um, my format, everything, and this is also another big part of it is I want to start doing some of these things, share some of the you know the information that I've I've gathered over the years through my degree and. Um, you know, just being privileged enough to, to get to speak to some really awesome people and, and learn some, some cool stuff. So I really want to share that with all of you and what better way to do it. So a lot more to come. And hopefully, uh, you know, I've I talked to a lot of students here who are like, ah, I wish I could have been in human kinetics, um, but they just pursue different career paths and, and that sort of thing. But it, it's a huge hobby for them. So I figure why not, you know, take... I'll, I'll gladly, you know, spend my time nerding out on a lot of the science and, and then sort of compiling it into a, a practical sense and share with you guys, share with everybody who, you know, who's really into this stuff just as a hobby, but, you know, might not have the time to look too far into it. So, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly, I'll gladly spend the time looking through everything and, and delivering it to you guys. So hopefully those of you who are interested in some of this sort of stuff will, you know, stay tuned and, 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 you know, get something out of, out of the things that I'm going to share. So, uh, you know, uh, so the, the switch to foundation barbell. So why, why foundation barbell? Um, a few, a few reasons. And I'm sure, you know, over these episodes, I'll kind of dive more into it. But the ultimate reason was kind of, I started to notice that everything that I did, um, a lot of it was kind of like pyramid structure and and the most important stuff was building that foundation whether it's uh your fitness or you know you um trying to live a healthier life or your nutrition or or things to do with even your mindset and goal setting a lot of this kind of stuff it all sort of came down to building that foundation first and making sure you know um that you have that solid foundation you have that that base to grow on um you know the whole thing of, of how big is a pyramid as big as this base kind of thing uh, i think it's huge and i think it's so important and that's what really sparked all of this. And I think in kind of this crazy life that we all live now and, and this day and age that we're in, a lot of us don't spend a lot of time building that foundation, kind of getting back to our roots in a sense. And I mean, I could I could dive into this and dive into sort of the philosophy behind it and um, a lot of the things that you don't mean the world to me. And, and But I'll save that for another day. I'll save diving into everything um, behind the name and behind everything else. Another day, I'm sure it'll come up, um, but a lot of it is just getting back to the, that foundation, back to that roots, and, and building that, you know, from, from the bottom up, and something I struggle with all the time, because I'm only 21. I don't have much of anything figured out at all, and I want to, so you start to sort of pretend that you're there, and you just sort of roll along, but really, uh, I need to spend a ton more time building my foundation just as a person, so... Uh, it's a big part of just where I am and, and you know, I always want to work on it. I always want to build that base more and more and more, even as, as the rest of it starts to grow. So big part of it, um, big part of just kind of getting back to nature, back to, you know, a, a big part with the nutrition thing is, um, you know, getting back to mostly plant-based foods and, and finding what works for you and a lot of this sort of stuff. But It'll come up as time goes on. The more that I talk about nutrition and programming and everything else, it'll it'll make more and more sense. But th that's the huge part of it is just sort of getting away from the craziness and the busyness of the life that we live now and all the technology that we're always around all the time like this and just enjoying it and enjoying our roots, enjoying our foundation that we all get to share in some sense or another. So big reason as to why. Um, also just... 
in a way, I feel like it, it's it's a bit to you know tribute some of the the people who have helped me become who I am today. And you know, like Barbell Shrugged is huge, 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 and and my just development as a person and development of you know my knowledge and everything else. And um, those guys have such a big influence on this upcoming generation of, of kinesiologists and you know strength and conditioning coaches and trainers and stuff that I don't think they even realize. Even just day to day people that learn a lot from their show and a lot from their podcast. So. Uh, definitely go and check them out. They have a ton of really awesome information. A lot of it you'll hear me relay because whenever they say stuff, I'll nerd out on you know the science behind it and then kind of gather my own thoughts about it. So you'll be hearing about stuff that they talk about as well on here. So I'm going to throw up on the screen right now a bit of what I believe sort of the foundation is behind what I do. So something that I'm really working towards is gathering or getting sort of the credentials as being a coach not just a personal trainer you know not just a a kinesiologist not just whatever my occupation ends up being but you know being a coach because I think that encompasses all of these things that you're now seeing so this is the stuff that I focus on this is the stuff that I try to put into a practical sense and tailor what I do to help meet the goals that each of you have if you work with me as, as a as a trainer or you know through here just give you the the information you need in order to help get there on your own but these are, are the five focuses that I spend you know all of my time on basically so physiology is a huge one um, you know there's all these sort of subcategories of it but this is a big thing in helping you reach your fitness goals that I've tried to dive into as much as I can to learn as much as I can about in order to give to you and to provide to you in order to help you get to where you want to be. So I'm not going to dive too much into each individual one. I'll try to keep this sort of short and sweet as just, you know, being like the first thing, the intro. But that's a really big one. Um, I'll dive, um, again, I'll dive a lot more into all of these in the future. You're going to see these coming up again and again and again because, you know, this is this is my framework. This is what I use. This is my foundation of what I like to provide to people um, you know, when I'm training them. So the next on the docket is biomechanics. This is a really big one because everyone is different. Everyone's built differently. Everyone, um, you know, has a little bit different movement, a little bit different anatomy, a little bit different of all of these things, a different biomechanics. So when it comes to coaching or, or giving cues or training somebody, this is a big thing that I keep in mind. And this is why, this is a huge reason why I'm not a big fan of cookie cutter programs. Because depending how people move, it's going to cause issues if they're trying to do specific like specific movements. Um, again, there's a lot more behind why I don't like cookie cutter programs, which I'll get into that at some point in time. But everyone's different. Everyone's an individual and everyone needs to you know, do things according to their biomechanics in a sense when it comes to movement. And yeah, uh, like Julian Pinot is someone who I've uh, dived into a lot of what he does, Ben Greenfield, all of these guys that spend a lot of time on movement work. And that's one thing that I've noticed is, you know, not everyone moves the same way. Not everyone's supposed to move the same way. If, if you're really tall and you have really long femurs or like your thigh, doing deep squats is, is not going to happen. And like, that's just, that's a really basic kind of explanation of sort of what I'm getting at here is everyone's going to move differently and everyone's going to have a different way of doing things. So just learning you know, what's appropriate for you and how you can utilize your biomechanics to, again, help you reach your goals. Um, so the next one is, is a really big one. Oh, and again, I didn't come up with this framework. Uh, I will put up on the screen now, um, you know, where this came from, the study that this came from, the people, so credit to them. And then I just kind of manipulated it according to, uh, you know, what I like to do. So anyways, next one, psychology, huge. I am getting my minor in psychology. It's something that I think goes very hand in hand with human kinetics. Um, the body and the mind, it's it's massive. That connection is really, really important. And understanding it and being able to not only understand it, but have control over it and have the ability to improve it I think is really important and I spend a lot of time looking into psychology and a lot of time 
trying to understand how it affects training and not only training, but how it just affects your life and, and, and ways that you can kind of train it like a muscle. Cause I think that's, I think that's so true. Like a lot of people say this out, like happiness is like a muscle and you, you need, you can train happiness and you can train to be happy and all these sorts of things. I think that's so true. I think there's a lot of different ways of going about improving your psychology and, um, that's something that I spend a lot of time in and a lot of these um, these shows or episodes or th- that I'll be doing will be about that because I think it's such a big part. Um, your mindset and the way that your psychology works is going to affect your experience here so much and, and that's really what it all comes down to is just this experience that we each of us get to have and you know this life that we get to live. So that's something I'm going to spend a lot of time on. Um, next thing there is all of the tactics. These are all my tools, sort of the things that I like to implement. Um, you know, programming is huge. Programming is going to be specific to, it needs to be specific to you to get you to where you want to be. You know, nutrition, massive, massive topic. I'm not even going to go there today. That'll be tons of shows just on its own. Um, that's probably the number one thing that I have, you know, friends, people message me, um, all the time about like supplements and nutrition and, and you know what's best and what's bad and what's good and all these sorts of things so a lot of that coming your way because it's such a huge thing what we put in our in our bodies is so important um recovery another really big one that i've been getting into a lot lately i'm gonna save some of that i'm not gonna you know give it all away today but diving a lot into you know recovery training and kind of all of the aspects about how to recover well and very super interesting I'm, I'm really really enjoying looking into it so a lot of that I'll definitely share with you all goal setting this is one that I just got into this year um, because of my sports psychology class and basically I took their framework and then tailored it to what I think is really I shouldn't say tailored it to what works best for me and seems most applicable to the people that I like to work with if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Basically, goal setting is cool. And I just sort of changed the framework that is most common a little bit and hopefully made it even better in a sense. So we'll see. We'll see how you guys think about it. Um, Anyone who takes me on and hires me on as their trainer, they'll get to see that. And hopefully they like it. Um, You'll have to ask them. Uh, mobility mobility is another big one kind of goes along with the recovery one in a sense but being able and back to the biomechanics being able to move well huge 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 and um again i've been diving into this a ton this past two years about i've been slowly compiling information and and you know stuff that i've learned through podcasts and through uh books and everything else from kind of the pros of you know things that work best for different types of people. Um, Becoming a Supple Leopard by Kelly Starrett is phenomenal. Anyone who has, you know, chronic joint pain or stiffness or something like that, if you, you know, you're into the gym life and and into kind of the fitness world, get that book, read that book, and you will learn a ton and how to, you know, on top of if you go to physio or massage or anything else, take personal responsibility and actions to help improve your mobility and help improve some of those problems that you've been running into. Um, Big one for me, and I'm sure it'll come up again. Uh, You know, my hips and my lower back are, have given me beef for a long time. So, you know, some of the things that I've really gotten into, which I'll talk about more when I go into, you know, episodes about training, but lots of, you know, split stance work and, and unilateral work and stuff when it comes to legs. But um, also, I've been using a lot of his methods in order to help reduce some of the stiffness and, and get myself, you know, back in good shape because I love experimenting stuff on myself before I, I put it out to everybody else. And sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I've, I've buggered myself up on occasion or two, but it's all part of the process. I mean, you got to you got to figure it out. Anyways, fun off that note is the next one because I love having fun this is a huge thing for me is if this wasn't fun I wouldn't be doing it and the day it stops being fun is the day I stop doing it and I want that to be the same case for everyone else I want everyone to have a lot of fun when they train a lot of fun when they're doing these things and with nutrition everything else it can be a blast so 
that's a really big one. And, and one that I'll definitely talk about a lot is, you know, ways that I found in order to make it fun. And I really hope that we can, you know, with this, I get it'll take some time, but I really hope we can start to build a bit of a community. And, um, you know, I love the Kootenays and it offers so much to allow to have fun when exercising and eating and cooking and all of these sorts of things. So really big one. And education, of course, that's, that's kind of the whole backing behind why I'm doing this is, like I said, with people who, excuse me, have this as a bit of a hobby and want to, you know, learn more about it. I want to help educate people. That's something that I really love doing. And, um, you know, I've learned from giving workshops and, and doing talks and things like that, that I've been really lucky to do, um, you know, at the Crescent District Community Complex and, and a few other places. It's been phenomenal and I've loved it. And I really enjoy, you know, sharing this information. And, and sometimes I, like, I'll get emails every now and again from people that are like, this has been working so good and, and all that kind of stuff. And it just awesome feeling. So I really want to, you know, give you guys what you want to hear and, and help educate you on the things that, you know, you're interested in. So with that being said, never hesitate to email me or shoot me a message on Facebook or whatever it might be um, with questions. And I will gladly do a video on or, or give a talk on on what you guys are, are curious about, whether it's nutrition stuff, whether it's training stuff or uh, like the next one, health and lifestyle types of things, because it's stuff that I dive into a lot and I love spending time into and I love to share with all of you. So please don't ever hesitate. In below in the description, I have my email address or you can find me on Facebook. Um, by the time this comes out, likely my business page will be called Foundation Marbell. But if it's not, It'll be Saltwater Health and Fitness. Either one, you can do that. You can just message my private account to Jesse Bourgeois. Totally fine. Doesn't matter to me. Um, anywho, health and lifestyle. This is another huge one. This is kind of the overall encompassing one of, you know, the importance of being aware of sickness, being aware of fatigue, being aware of non-training stress, being aware of, you know, like school, work, relations, finances, all of this sort of stuff and, and all of these things that, you know, we do do every day right so uh the health and the lifestyle is such a big part and and you know currently I've, I've been lucky to for my work here on campus this year as a residence advisor i've been able to run a healthy living integrated living community so i've gotten to learn a lot about healthy living and, and a lot about you know ways that you know all my students they find ways to to do it in you know some of the craziest types of times of life that you have, um, you know, being at university and it's busy and hectic and crazy and, you know, we're all on a meal plan and it's not necessarily the greatest food in the world, but, you know, people make it work and it's been really cool listening to different ways that they're doing it. So I've um, learned a lot and a big area of, of what I do, you know, a lot of the stuff that I read and all of the rest of this stuff all really just comes down to helping to optimize somebody's health and optimizing their lifestyle but by that I sort of mean like their experience um you know if I think of like a mission statement that I have it you know it's to to optimize and connect the conscious and material self through healthy living and fitness principles and that's what I want to do and that's what I want to share with all of you through these um through these these episodes that I'm going to be doing look at my notes here <laughs> yeah so the, the, that's basically the gist of it and you know these are the foundations these are the things that I think are, are good to have solidified and build upon before you know everything else kind of builds off of it and I think it, it you know it's so important in that the mind and body are so connected and you know optimizing those is going to help improve this experience that we all have and and really help us get in touch with ourselves sounds kind of hooey and funky but uh you know it's so true and it's such a big part of you know everything that we do and you know Tate Fletcher said that you know there's there's no real right to passage for young men anymore or young women and you know it's something I've noticed in myself so much about this is that it's such a 
it just gives you if you take pride in it and and you know a lot of other people have sort of said this that you know fitness and, and good nutrition all this stuff is, is like just a pure form of, of self-love and I think that's so true and and it the more you get into it and the more that you're able to just be proud of who you are and proud of the decisions that you're making I think is so important and in this crazy and busy lifestyle that we have you know I know there's been so many times where I've kind of reflected on what I've been doing it's like why am I doing that and I'm not enjoying it so then I always have to kind of get back to these foundations back to you know these roots and 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 working on them in order to you know be happy and and enjoy you know everything that I'm doing in my life so you know this is all process for me too by all means but I just want to try to share it with all of you and, and you know hopefully some of you will come on come join me in this madness and also share your experiences and we can chat about it and we can share it with other people and we can all try to you know connect and help one another um enough mushy too much mushy a little bit too sappy could be i'm guilty of doing that that happens all the time but yeah that's the change from foundation to foundation barbell it's all about that found it's uh, I just want to get away from this crazy world that we live in sometimes and just get back to the things that I enjoy and back to the roots and back to nature and back to these things that just help build this nice foundation in order to have such a good experience out of so I hope you all join me and I hope you'll all get something out of this um a couple things that I need from you guys send me questions send me things that you're curious and and if I don't know anything about it, I'm going to tell you that I don't know anything about it. But if I do, I can address it on, on these, on shows, and bring it up and talk about it and find out. Or if I don't know, actually, I, I'll try to find out. If I can gather an understanding and hopefully answer your questions, 100%, I'll do that. So please don't hesitate, no matter what it is, whether it's just about life, if it's about health, or if it's about fitness or nutrition or whatever it might be, don't ever hesitate. Please send it my way. The other thing, I have no intro. I have no intro to my show. So, one of the things that I want to do this summer with this, hopefully I'll sort of build a bit of a foundation for you guys, um, you know, to to see what this is going to be all about and hopefully you'll start to like it. But something I really want to do is I want to explore the Kootenays and I want to bring this with me and I want to talk to all of the fantastic and intricate and weird and awesome people that are in the Kootenays and I want to chat with them and find out what they're all about and and share it with all of you so what i want to do in this and while i explore the kootenays is what i want is i would love for all of you who have cool pictures or cool videos of yourselves exploring the kootenays or exploring bc and coming across awesome awesome views or doing awesome things or whatever it might be whether it's like skiing or, or diving or cliff jumping or whatever it might be or working out or or, you know awesome gardens or anything to do with you know healthy living I would love if you would send it to me send it to my email address and you know be okay with me compiling all of it together in order to make an intro so that's something that I really would love for all of you to do so please 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 if you have you know short clips videos especially that'd be fantastic or even pictures you know, send it, send it my way, you know, I'll, I'll include it and, you know, you'll get to see yourself be a part of this and I'd really love it and I'd really love for that to be my intro. I'd love to represent where I'm from, you know, the Coots Roots. I'd, I'd love to have that be, you know, the intro to this. I think that'd be so cool and I'd love to have you guys on. If you ever want to be on this and, and chat and share it with everybody, let me know. That'd be phenomenal. I'd love to do that. So that's what I want from you. I know I'm asking a lot, but I really want you to email me your videos exploring BC, especially the Kootenays, so I can include it and make it a part of the intro to the show. It'd be phenomenal. So again, email address below. Please fire it my way. It'd be so amazing, so fantastic. It'd be huge. Please do that. <laughs> it would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. The next show, next episode that I do will be an episode on not all, but some of the most popular food documentaries that are on Netflix. Uh, if you have me on Facebook, 
you saw my little rant about food choices. So I just want to clear the air. I want to inform you guys some of the stuff that's not accurate in those food documentaries and some of the stuff that is absolutely true. So just to help decipher some of it, because some of it is just, oh, it made, I got so riled up. It was ridiculous. I ranted to probably like three or four people that day. I've been ranting with people ever since because there's so much disagreement and so much confusion about some of that stuff. So if you've seen some of those food documentaries, please watch the next episode for your own well-being because some of the stuff that you have watched likely isn't true. So that will be the next episode. From there, I have no idea. Figure it out as she goes. But that'll be the next one. Thank you for listening. This is Foundation Barbell. I'm so excited to, you know bring all of this stuff to life for you guys and um everything will kind of be dropping this summer a lot of the stuff that i want to do isn't ready yet i'm still working on it but i didn't want to wait to start doing these mostly because i live in a box in a dorm at the university and i enjoy doing this it's my way of connecting with other people so yeah but a lot of stuff will be dropping this summer please you know like my facebook page Keep watching these videos. I'll keep you updated. Really cool stuff coming out. Any questions you have, fire it my way. Anything that you want me to do shows on, fire it my way. And if you have videos of yourself or others and they're okay with it, please send it to me via my email, which is below, or it is jesse.bourgeois at gmail.com. Please send it to me. And I want to compile all of them and turn them into a beautiful intro for the show and that you can all be a part of as this summer I plan on wandering around the Kootenays and doing cool shit and talking to cool people so cool things coming up please be a part of it that'd be awesome thank you for watching see ya